Monday. And what else do you do on a Monday? Obviously not work. We've been invited down here to Silverstone today to follow around Northamptonshire's very own BPM Racing. They're here having a track day because they've got something really, really exciting coming up in the next few weeks. They're doing a 24-hour endurance race and TV Northampton are going to be with them every step of the way. We're going to be watching the highs, the lows, the ups and the downs. And yes, we're going to be up for 24 hours with them. So today, we're here in the pit lane and hopefully, if I'm really, really cheeky, they're going to let me get in the car with them. So guys, hold on tight. Hold on tight with me. We're going to be going around all of the corners here at Silverstone Racetrack. I'm really, really excited. around this beautiful county, uh, county of ours. It's TV Northants and we're here at Silverstone in the pit lane with Owen, who is possibly one of the best drivers I've ever met in my whole life. And that's saying something, because I've been in quite a lot of cars with quite a lot of people, but man, you guys can drive. Well, you see, it helps when you do what we do, yeah, certainly. Um, it's amazing how you get used to it when you, uh, once you get into it and you start doing it a lot. Um, take a bit of coaching, move along, move along, move along, move up through the you know cars. Start with a basic car, move up, move up, move up. You do get you do get used to it, and it's amazing how quickly you move away from what you might call a normal driver. So, what made you first get into doing this? Well, I've been a bit of a petrol head for a long, long time, um, and always been interested in cars. And um, I sort of when I when I could eventually afford it, I bought myself a sort of sporty car and thought this is great, really good fun. And then then when, when track days started to become popular, I started to bring it on track days and. And then uh, met up with a few people who have since become the team, um, and we just sort of decided that this isn't this isn't enough anymore. Um, we need to compete, so that's exactly what we did. And your car is really really cool. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, the car is a Ginetta G50, um, so it's it's based um, from a one make series called the Ginetta Super Cup. Um, they're made up in Leeds, although it sounds very Italian, it's actually uh, English through and through. It's a purpose-built racing car with a space frame, um, it's a, powered by a 3.5 litre Ford V6. It's got a quay six-speed fully sequential gearbox, so we don't need the clutch to change gears. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's a good bit of kit. So what are you guys doing here today with it? Today is our final test before our 24-hour weekend. So uh, on the 1st of October, we'll be up here for the Brick Car 24-hour race. Um, it's a massive challenge for car and driver. And uh, because of that, the car has to have a pretty major rebuild uh, before, it's, before, it ready for, before it's ready for it, which has just finished. So we brought it up here today. Uh, this morning, we were out, what we call shaking the car down. So basically, we take it out, we give it a bit of a thrash, and we see if anything falls off. It's literally uh, <laughs> as simple as that. And speak of the devil, there it is. <laughs> and uh, we, um, yeah, so we see if anything falls off. It didn't, so we call that a successful test. That's a bonus. Yeah, yeah, that was good. And then uh, obviously this afternoon we've been doing a little bit of PR, including taking you good people out for a ride. And let me tell you, it was absolutely brilliant. And the funny thing is, as we're driving around, you start to become used to it, and you're having a little little saunter along, thinking, oh, it looks quite nice around here. Then you realise you're going at like 120 miles an hour, and it's like, should I be scared? You probably should be scared. <laughs> I was. <laughs> so, you know, no, it's, it, is, it is amazing how suddenly it becomes the norm, but that's because we're out here with a lot of good drivers, and they're all, they're all you know, flying along, and everything becomes a bit relative. And um, it's only really when something starts to go a little bit wrong that you realise how fast you're going. <laughs> like when I was in the car earlier, got out, and they turned around and said apparently they couldn't brake with me in it, so I don't know what that's saying, but uh, we went around the corner, and it was a little bit tight, and I thought, OK, we're on the grass, but that's cool. OK, so tell me about the um, race because obviously endurance racing is very different to that of a Formula One car, for example. Yeah, we chose to do endurance racing when we first started because we were a big group and we wanted it to be a team game. And endurance racing really is a team sport. You hear that said a lot about Formula One. Obviously, the drivers are the, the people at the front.
front and the people with all the media attention. But, you know, you'll always hear them saying, oh, it's a team sport, it's a team sport, and it absolutely is. And even more so in endurance racing. We couldn't do what we do without the backup of the team. Um, and the, the other thing is, it's, it, it builds in a whole load of sort of tactical, a tactical aspect to it as well. So we have to work out, right, how long can we go on this fuel? When do we need to refuel? When are we going to change drivers? What else are we going to do while we change drivers? So all these things have to be worked out. And the, the 24 hour race takes that right to the extreme. It's the ultimate test really for, for, for driver and team. So the team have to get the car in tip top condition. Um, and the drivers, they have to be able to race for a long time. There'll be four of us doing it. So we'll be doing six hours each, uh, probably in a stint of about 80, 90 minutes, I would think that. We, we think that's roughly how long the fuel's gonna last. So we'll be swapping over every 80 or 90 minutes, uh, just continuously cycling until the 24 hours is up. So it's, it's a big challenge. It's, the, the hard thing is when you get out is the wind down. It's, it's easy to get yourself wound up for it to jump in but it's it's hard when you have to get out and then you have to spend the next four or five hours doing something else you have to go so when am I going to eat when am I going to try and lie down am I going to try and do this am I going to watch what you know what am I going to do that's the that's the difficult thing from a driver's point of view and then the guys in the team they don't really have that luxury to be honest they'll be they'll be pretty much just on standby for the whole 24 hours they can't um, they can't afford to, to not be here in case something happens and racing is one of those games where accidents happen and they happen quite frequently um, and you don't get through a 24 hour race without some sort of bump or scrape or spin so these guys will be sat there ready obviously they have to make the pit stops every 80 minutes anyway uh, which may or may not involve tire changes or, or whatever's going on um, and they have to be ready they have to be ready to react and uh, it's, it's tough work for everybody really so how does everyone stay awake uh, pro plus red bull black coffee you know everybody's got their own little thing but to be honest it none of those matter next to the adrenaline it's all about the adrenaline and the the build up to this race is really really good i mean it starts we have a day and a, and a night qualifying session which is on friday the 30th um, and then it moves through to the race itself, which is on the Saturday, but it's not until four o'clock in the afternoon. And Brickcar are a really good organiser. They, 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 they have such a social paddock. They really do let people get up close and personal. So both on Friday evening and on Saturday lunchtime, there's a public pit walk. So all the cars, all the competitors, all the cars will be pushed out into the pit lane. Uh, and everybody can come and walk up and down the pit lane, get really up close and personal, have a look at all the cars. Uh, and then just before the race on the Saturday, um, the cars will all be lined up on grid in their formation order ready to start the race and for the hour before the race the grid will be open to the public so if you fancy yourself as a bit of a Martin Brundle you can get out there and see who you can meet. That sounds amazing so obviously leading up to the race we've seen the car we've seen the pit we've seen the people that work for you that must be pretty expensive right? It's a, it's a pretty expensive undertaking and it's it's particularly hard when you first start off and you don't have any sort of bio about you um, but we've been doing it a little while now we've got a few trophies in the old cabinet and those things help with uh, going to the market and saying look why don't you come and have a think about sponsoring us because sponsoring a race team is so much more than just you know you give us some money and we'll put a sticker on the car it's just not like that anymore it's we can we can arrange all sorts of things you know we can certainly get get you and your guests your family your customers whoever it might be you know down to the race bring them in the garage you know we can get your pit access so we can come in the garage you can watch the timing screens listen to the team radio uh, you really can get down here and, and and get involved with the team that's what we really want from a sponsor we don't you know we like this sort of close relationship and it's and we can also do days like today so for example today is a public track day so we're allowed to take passengers out in the car uh, obviously today we had a little bit of testing to do and then we invited you guys down but we do that uh, fairly regularly for sponsors here and there so they might bring dozen half dozen dozen people down and uh, yeah we strap them in and take them out for a passenger ride so it's a really good look especially for local companies around this sort of area it'd be brilliant yeah it's, it's excellent and it's it's just a great way to sort of um, entertain your customers or entertain your staff or really it's just a different, let's just say it's a different way to advertise. You know, you might be thinking, oh, should we put an ad in the paper or perhaps take an advert out on local radio or, well, why not do something a bit different? Why not do something a bit more interesting, you know? Um, and obviously you, you will get your logos on the car and in the garage and, you know, we'll get some pictures taken and they'll look fantastic wherever you want to use them. part of the BPM team who are doing the 24 hour race very very soon how are you feeling are you nervous yes I'm uh, getting into it now it's it's taken a while I've only been in the car three times so far with this team so I'm a rookie to the, the brick car team 
And we're able to come out here today on this Gold Track Day. Gold Track do some uh, great uh, track days at Silverstone, so we're joined onto this one to do some testing and give me a bit of time in the car as the third driver for the BPM team. So only three times in this car, and then in a few weeks we're going to be driving around the clock. Uh, That's pretty amazing. That's right. It's uh, first to me. I'm used to doing uh, 15 minute races or 40 minute races maximum in 40 year old Jaguars. So this is a big difference to me coming to a modern car, a lot faster, a lot quicker and a lot longer racing at night. This is new for me as well. It's been absolutely brilliant, brilliant fun. Whizzing around that track is like nothing I've ever experienced before. We wish BPM Racing all the very, very luck for their 24 hour race. We're going to be sharing it with them. Guys, make sure that you all tune in and be part of it. And if you're free on the weekend of the 30th of September, right through to the 2nd of October, make sure you check it out. Come down here and share it with them. It's going to be a really, really lovely way to spend a weekend. I'm Carly Wilford and this is TV Northants.